Good morning, guys. It's our last C day. Boo. We have a quite a bit on our itinerary that we want to get done today. We got to pack, check in for our flight, head down to the Pixels Gallery and pick up the pictures that we ordered. We are going to go to the Dr. Seuss breakfast. We're going to try the Cucina del Capitano Sea Day Free Pasta Bar. We want to check out the Chocolate Extravaganza and Lido Marketplace. Justin wants to go down the water slides, try Sky Ride and the Obstacle Course. Am I missing anything? I don't know. There's quite a bit on our itinerary, so let's go start the day. So first things first, we made a reservation for the really popular green eggs and ham breakfast. Maddie, what's for breakfast? So what exactly is this green eggs and ham breakfast? It's a magical experience where Dr. Seuss characters make appearances and you eat a colorful feast. The cost is $10 per adult, $8 per child, and under two is free. Quick tip, make sure you sign up before your cruise because it sells out fast. We just got sat down. Our little reservation form had our table number and we got given the option of orange juice or apple juice. We each got a parfait. So thing one and thing two came out, but thing one went to the other side of the room to take pictures with that side, and thing two came to our side. So the staff comes around with autograph stamps, so we brought our green egg stamp book so that we can have this get stamped to serve as our keepsake. Put the knife down. <laughs> now if you didn't bring your own keepsake, you can use this coloring book they give you, and it has a page in the back for the Dr. Seuss character stamps. Okay, so for God in the hat, if you want to take photos with him, you just have to line up here. Make sure you give your room number to our photographers. Make sure you have your booklets with you. And then you're going to walk around the, over here so I can give you your autographs. Hat in the hat just came out, but we have to go line up to take a picture with him. So we are probably going to eat first and let the line die down because bet everyone went and got in line to do that. You'll use your phone's camera to scan the barcode to pull up the menu. As you can see, there are some fun and unique choices. Fear not, you can also order regular breakfast items. We ordered the scrambled super de duper de booper special deluxe a la Peter T. Hooper omelet, honey Belgian waffles, truffle tree pancakes, green eggs and ham, and another omelet with sides of pork sausage and hash brown potatoes. That was a mouthful. All right, so the green eggs and ham are green eggs, sitting on ham, sitting on a piece of English muffin. Okay, let's go get in line to meet Cat in the Hat. Maddie's turn. All right, we got to get our autographs. Let's see. We have thing two. And we got thing one, thing two, cat in the hat. We're good to go. Green eggs? Green eggs? Where was this? Nope. Okay, so right now, cat in the hat is going back to his breakfast. Everybody say bye, cat in the hat. All right, so up next we have a surprise for you. But I'm gonna have you your breakfast first, and then our our reflection team or our doctors' breakfast team had a surprise for you. They have a dance surprise. Who's excited for a dance surprise? Yes. And it's show.
Maddie is not really interested in trying the green eggs and ham for these colorful waffles. She ate regular eggs. <laughs> how's that red? <laughs> how's that? How's that red? What is that? A pancake? Tastes like pancake. Yeah. That actually tastes normal. <laughs> So our toddler definitely prefers regular eggs over these green eggs. She will not try them. She will not try them, Sam I am. <laughs> um. Alright, so folks, just like earlier with Cat in the Hat, line up over here. Bring your booklets with you. Everybody say bye, Sam I am. So just like the cat in the hat, you have to stand in line for the Sam I Am autograph. So we just got back to our stateroom from the Dr. Seuss Green Eggs and Ham Breakfast. We highly recommend if you're cruising by yourself and you're into Dr. Seuss or if you're cruising with little ones to go check out that breakfast. It's a really cool experience. It's fun. You try foods that you never thought you'd try before, like green eggs and ham. Although the green eggs, I guess, were powdered eggs, so they weren't that good. Um, we didn't really eat those. Maddie wasn't really into the green eggs, but it's a really cool experience, so check it out. Maddie, you ready to go to Camp Ocean? Camp Ocean. Let's go drop you up at oh, Camp you Ocean. Go? Okay. With mommy. Mommy and puppy, they're going <laughs> to drop you mommy. off. No, mommy. And no, Camp Ocean. And then you're gonna play with the ninos and the toys. It's gonna be fun, huh? You like the no. kitchen set. No kitchen set. Why? No, no that ocean. Let's go potty and then we'll go to Camp Ocean. No that ocean. Okay, so the first sea day, Maddie had a great time in Camp Ocean. She was there for over an hour and a half. We ended up picking her up. We didn't get called. The second time we got called within 20 minutes or so. And we didn't realize it until later, Maddie said, boo boo. Nina, so we think that a child must have hit her. So now she's hesitant to go back to Camp Ocean, which sucks because the first day she enjoyed it, the second day now she's like traumatized. So we are gonna try Camp Ocean again. It's our final sea day, and we're hoping that maybe if we could just go in and drop her off and show her like it's fine, she'll like it, but let's see. Round three, we're gonna go to Camp Ocean. Okay, so Camp Ocean didn't work out again. Camp Ocean is not scary. I don't play with the ninos. We wanted to play with the ninos. The staff is very friendly and helpful. They let us walk Madison in and say our goodbyes and see if she would be okay with us leaving. But she wanted to go with us, so we ended up just taking her. But if you are headed on a cruise, I highly recommend you check out Camp Ocean for your little ones and see if they like it. You never know. So our Dr. Seuss breakfast did not come with any type of specialty coffee, just apple juice and orange juice and water. So we came and got our specialty coffee. I got a latte and you got a espresso? Double shot. Double shot espresso. And we ordered an extra chocolate straw for Madison because she always steals mine. Fun fact, there's a secondary Java Glue Cafe counter at Plaza Bar right by Ocean Plaza. You have your own chocolate straw? We are at the Pixels Gallery to pick out the photos we're going to order. Do not forget to do this before you get off the ship. So if you're gold, make sure you head to the Pixels Gallery to pick up your gold member pins. Since this is Madison's first cruise turning gold, we got her a pin as well. So these pins are actually really cute. So we're going to put them on our lanyards. <laughs> I don't know if that's goofy or not, but whatever. Mama and Daddy. Boom. Lunch time. We're in line for Cucina del Capitano for their free Sea Day Pasabella bar. So they give you a piece of paper so you can customize and create your order to your liking. Okay, we got you this one right here. The, this one right here. That for the bow. And the white pencil. Okay. <gasps> wow, Madison, good job. You brought your thumb. Your thumb. 
no. draws a line to connect it. It's been all over again. <gasps> Let's see what we ordered. For starters, a Caesar salad. Our folly pasta with the bolognese meat sauce, some garlic shrimp, cherry tomatoes, grilled chicken strips, onions, mushrooms, and spinach. Meat lasagna right here. And we have the farfalli pasta with white clam sauce, garlic shrimp, cherry tomatoes, onions, mushrooms, and spinach. And I got the linguine alfredo with garlic shrimp and mushrooms and a bunch of other stuff. So we pasta tasted and the alfredo sauce with... You're such a good eater, honey. So Maddie let us put bibs on her up until she was two and a half, and now she doesn't let us. So now she just gets super messy. It's part of growing up. <laughs> what do you think about the lasagna? So the lasagna is really good too. And instead of coming with ground beef, which is what I expected, it actually has like, like big chunks of shredded beef. So really good. We're going to head down one floor to Lido Marketplace for their chocolate extravaganza. The line for the sweet spot. Dessert time. Time to go return the phone so we don't get charged. What was it, like a hundred bucks or something? Something like that. <laughs> Did you unfold our towel animal heart? Are you pretending to sleep? I'm gonna tickle you. I'm gonna tickle you. <laughs> tickle, 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 tickle. It's nap time for Madison and Justin, so once again, it's time for me to do my escape and go relax by myself. All right, I need to check us in for our flight and Justin just texted me, Madison is awake, so they're gonna head up here and we're gonna go take Maddie to the waterworks and I think Justin is finally get, gonna get to ride the sky ride and go down the water slides. Actually, let's eat again. Of the day. I guess this is Liner because it's not dinner and we already ate lunch. Maddie, can you say Liner? Uy. <laughs> How about you, Maddie? You like it? Check everything out. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Gulf of Mexico. Not too much wildlife out here. Haven't seen anything. It's really muggy too. There goes the basketball court. Uphill right now. I'm in a lot of shape. Oh my god. There's the obstacle course. Not doing that one today. Good 
Justin's up there, about to get on the yellow slide, so let's go see if we can catch him. Welcome back to our room after the splash pad and water slides. We're gonna drop all of our things off and then head to Alchemy Bar to get our gold member free cocktails and mocktails. So this little baby randomly appeared in our door decor. <laughs> it's so funny. Someone put it there. And it's time to freaking pack. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> <sighs> Packing to go home sucks. <laughs> Cause that means vacation's over. So the night before the last full day of your cruise, you'll get a debarkation information paper and it'll explain if you want to check your bags and have them take it the night before disembarkation or if you want to just carry up all your luggage for yourself. And we totally forgot, but today they put out the luggage tags to collect and that basically has zones of like how early you're getting off and like how early your luggage will be available. We totally forgot to grab a tag. So we're debating on just carrying all our luggage off, which is two large check bags, two carry-ons, a stroller, a toddler, and two backpacks. <laughs> or do we go to Lido Deck Ted Forward and try to see what luggage tags are available? So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's easier. Ah, uh, soaking in this final evening aboard Carnival Vista. Time to go to dinner. Last dinner of the crew. Mm. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Let's show you guys what we have. Braised short ribs with potato gratin and sauteed green beans. The country fried chicken with cheddar mash and pickle slaw. Grilled salmon with broccoli and skillet potatoes. And the featured Indian vegetarian dish. What you got there? Um, what is it? Chocolate molten cake? Yeah, that. With vanilla ice cream? Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, we're back in the stateroom and fortunately need to continue packing. There's so much to pack up, so. We are gonna finish doing that. We decided we're gonna do the express debarkation, which means we have to carry off all of our luggage tomorrow. So that'll be interesting. We hope you enjoyed all of the videos we put out from this cruise. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us and we hope you enjoy your cruise. Take care. It's seven o'clock and we're back in Galveston. Be prepared that if you're gonna have that burp moment, you may bonk your head a few times. I'm pretty sure that was my sixth time. Gonna grab some breakfast from Lido Marketplace to take back to the room so we can eat before we have to be out by 8.30. Last meal of the trip. <laughs> breakfast in bed, Maddie? What do you see? Breakfast. Yep, we've already arrived. All right, let's head out. And we're waiting in the liquid lounge to get off. We have to wait for our muster station to be called, even though we are doing the express debarkation and carrying everything off ourselves. We are still patiently waiting for them to call our muster station. Girlfriend. <laughs> Girlfriend. <laughs> Girlfriend. <laughs> Watch out, Unimong, stop, stop, stop. We made it off the ship. Here's a tip, if you don't have a passport, get a passport because the line for birth certificates is humongous. We literally stood in line behind, behind one person for passports and there was probably at least 100 people in the birth certificate line because they have to check those by hand. Go, girlfriend. <laughs>